welcome to part two of my three part design series in this video i'll be focusing more towards the bedroom so if there's anything you do not understand within this video i recommend that you watch the previous video so that you understand more or less where we are headed since this is a continuation of the previous video all right so first things first you will clone your ceiling panels from the ground floor onto the first floor and move it into this room since this is the room we'll be working on on this video go to general and add your closet these will be our inbuilt closet and then you can go ahead and clone that and just fill the other space Okay, now since our cupboards are only 200 uh, centimeter in height, we'll go ahead and add a bookcase to cover the remaining space on top of the closet. So we'll set it to 50 and make the vertical position to 250. Just slot it above your closet. So it should look like this in 3D view. Now onto our headboard panel, you will just clone the ceiling panel. So you can go ahead and move your panels out of the way. We'll add them once we are done. You can change your black panel to 238 so make that by 6 and then you'll change the height to 180 and vertical position to also 180 now to add our floats and side tables we'll add bookcase again and change the size to 40 by let's say 40 by 40 so now you move your side tables to the end of your headboard panels, each on both sides. Then uh, you will make uh, your height to 20 and then vertical position to 40. And you can clone it and move it to the other end of your headboard panel. Clone it again, set the vertical position to 140. 40 by 20 then you can just slot this in the middle now to add our bed you can just slot it in that space in between so then our bedroom or our headboard design should look something like this at the moment now to stop this flickering thing right there we'll just resize it down to 39 and just move it right next to the bed so it should look like this now. Now on to adding of side lamps, you will make your height to 40 and set the vertical position to 80 so that they sit right on top of our side tables. Clone it and just apply it to the other side of the bed. Now we can add our rug. Resize it to 138 by, let's say, 35. And then just place it right next to your bed. Change the color to a dark grayish, very dark gray. Okay, now since we're done in that part, we can just go ahead and add your ceiling panel. And then I'll move the ceiling panel since you want to work in this area.
You will go to office. Add your under desk cabinet. Just make it 55 by 45. Now onto adding our desk, you will just rotate it and add it right next to our under desk cabinet and resize it to 65 by 55. So for your office area, you can change it to whatever color scheme you'd like to change it to and add whatever accessories you'd like to add according to your liking. So for the sake of time, we'll just be racing through this part. I don't know what to call these, but I will call it floating wood cupboards for the sake of the video. So you'll add your bookcase once again to change the size to 78 by 20 then change the height to 20 and the vertical position to 60. You will just slot it almost to the door, clone it and then resize this one to 100. Move it right above it but not exactly at the same place clone it and do the same for the other one and then just change this one's vertical position to 140. And then it should look like this in our 3D view. But since we want to create this seamless um, floating effects, we'll move them right into our wall just by a bit. Then you'll do this for all the other floating side cupboards. So that in 3D view, it should look like this. And now just to add some features, you can just add your plant, uh, make it 10 by, you see 10 by 10, change the height to 25 and our vertical position to 165 since we want to sit right on top of a floating side cupboard. Now once we're done with that, to add our aircon, you can go to general and look for the aircon, not to look for air conditioner. Now we're done with our bedroom design, so you can go ahead and add your ceiling panels back in place and then just make sure that everything is back to normal properly aligned now that brings us to an end to a second part of our three-part series please do be on the lookout for the third and the last um, part of the series which should be out pretty soon and once again thank you for your likes shares and subscribes subscriptions yeah I think that makes sense